it's always a, a pleasure to attend those uh, business breakfasts, especially when we have to tackle such an interesting topic as Nigeria's economic and political landscape. Since the beginning of this year and until uh, the 2023 general election, Nigeria has been and will find itself in a crucial political moment. As you all probably know better than me, uh, the elections to come will in many cases be decisive, be it directly on the political balance or indirectly on the economic and social stability. As Africa's biggest economy and population, Nigeria has a decisive weight in Africa's stability and offers business opportunities for companies and qualified individuals from all around the globe. It can benefit from economic opportunities that can drive a sustainable growth for the years to come, provided that stability and reforms be possible. The transformations of opportunities into concrete and mutually beneficial projects are key to the country's prosperity. We understand that the French election was just concluded. No much noise about it. Um, it was held over two weeks and definitely everything came. You know, and of course, um, President Emmanuel Macron was returned as the president of the Republic of France. And um, we understand how elections work in developed economies. And imagine economies, um, I'm sure Dr. Olisa Bakoba would um, do justice to this. It's totally different. And we want to know definitely business exists in these economies, business exists in our economy too. And um, how would business survive in the light of um, the current realities as far as um, um, the Nigerian economy is concerned? I'm sure Mr. Kenneth will talk about the implications of um, the Nigerian election on um, our, our forex market um, and of course our inflation figures where we have a lot of, um, these are primaries that was just held and a lot of dollars and FX was exchanged for delegates. And at, as, as at that period, there was scarcity of um, FX. The problem with Nigeria is that the voting population does not react to trends. Because if the voting population reacted to trends, the ruling party would have lost the election in the Kitsi state. Now, in the case of Macron, he had a close shave. The French voting population rebuked him. He won, but there was a close shave with uh, Marie Le Pen. Clearly, in, um, in, in the UK, you saw that uh, Boris Johnson lost two constituencies and is likely to lose the election or even be removed from office. Uh, the great man in America certainly is going to have a problem with the midterm election. So I, I give these three illustrations to show that there's a relationship between performance and remaining in office. I have partners in PwC US that are affiliated to specific political parties. And they are Republican or they're Democrats. But in Nigeria, I can't do that. So even though I have politically a leaning, um, I can't come publicly and say this is where you know I'm pitching my tent. And that's because of sustainability, right? Um, because our political environment has not evolved to that point where there are clear ideologies and you can align. But when you increase the prices of food and fuel, people fight, there's conflict. This is data from over 40 countries that show that, you know, there's an article in The Economist this week that says that man shall not be by bread alone. But bread is very important. And when you increase the prices of even food or fuel, then almost immediately there's a civil conflict and um, political unrest and violence. And the reason why the government is so afraid to reduce or um, remove the subsidy is because of this risk. Um, this is increasing, upon all the security problems you've said, um, increasing risk. And it's not about subsidies are very easy to give very very difficult to take away or this time if there was that train attack that happened and there were members of the political elite held by those kidnappers you would have gotten a more vigorous response from the security architecture they would have rescued people they would have gotten people out but you will recall that there's a guy that won primaries while he was being held by the kidnappers that tells you that security architecture doesn't consider even the political element as important as 
core region security.